couple of years ago when I first started turning pens, I ran into a guy who turned pens and he was, uh, he'd been doing it for a while and he was saying, you know, he says it's, it's addictive and I'm beginning to uh, think he's right. I just can't stop. Anyway, my very first good pen was this one. And it's actually, I think it's this kit right here. And uh, I, I had started out doing the slim lines because they were cheap and I figured if I screw it up, well, not, not a whole lot is lost. But, but this kit is probably about three times as expensive as slimline. So anyway, it's, it's basically a cigar pen, only I think the transmission is a little better. And, and definitely the hardware that you see is a lot nicer than the cigar series. Uh, now, <laughs> every time I ordered a cigar pen, well, not every time, but I would think to myself, do I need brass tubes? So I wonder if I've got enough extra brass tubes. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to turn one of these kits and I'm going to use this wood. Now, Mark Van Eggman gave me this. This is crab apple. It's all that I have left of the crab apple wood. If you might remember, I turned a pizza cutter and some uh, bottle stoppers and stuff like that and I used the crab apple that he gave me. And this is all that's left and I think I'm going to be able to get a couple of really nice blanks out of that. And if it doesn't work, well, sorry, Mark. Anyway, let's get going on this and see what we can do. Well, we may as well get something out of the way right off the bat and call it by its proper name. And William Woodwright calls it the Ultra Cigar Pen. So, yeah, now you know what it's called. Now, this is the one that I did a couple of years ago. This is actually mahogany. And it's meaningful to me because this mahogany is left over from a clock that I made for my son on his wedding day for him and his bride. Now, I'm going to use the other kit. Like it come, This kit comes two ways. It'll come with either a chrome nib or a gold nib. And what will be gold here will be chrome here and vice versa. So I'm going to I'm going to do the other one. Like the my pen has a gold clip. This one's going to have a chrome. And you know and so on. Otherwise I think it's basically the same kit. What is really nice is the transmission in this kit. It's uh, extremely smooth. It'll uh, eject the nib or or the uh the ballpoint refill. Uh, no matter which way you twist it. It's just a half twist either way. The bushings, each bushing is a different size. So a person has to be very careful when you're uh, turning on the mandrel that you get your bushings in the right order. Now, uh, it takes a 10 millimeter bit. Uh, what else can I tell you? Now this crab apple wood, I'm noticing right here what appears to be a little bit punky. So I'm thinking I might be wise to do the cactus juice thing on these blanks first. Now I've done the cactus juice uh, process several times in the past. It takes a lot of time uh, videoing and I'm just going to go right at it, get it done, get it out of the way. And then uh, I guess the next scene you're going to see me doing will likely be, well I can't guarantee that, but probably when I'm drilling the, the holes to put the brass tubes through. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to get right at the cactus juice process right now and like I've said, I've done it a lot in the past in my videos and it's starting to get kind of old already. So, so here we go and I'll get to use my uh, uh, new mandrel too. Now as most of you know, these videos are unscripted. You are watching it as it's happening, and I'm hoping that this is not going to be a big long series. And uh, you know, like parts 10, part 11, <laughs> we've been there before. I just want to do it maybe in, uh, well, two, maybe three episodes if I can. But you know, like I say, stuff can go wrong, like maybe the uh, crab apple blanks aren't going to turn out. And uh, I've got to try something else, and uh, you're, you're seeing it as it happens. So. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.